morning, Midlow. I'm Dia Patel. And I'm Lito, of course. Today is Monday, March 13, 2023. We have some SOL testing going on this week, so stay tuned for what to expect. In this week's broadcast, we will listen in on a conversation Tanaj and Maddox had with a Midlow graduate, host a special guest live on our show, and update you on Midlow events. But first, how does the weather look this week, Ella? Thanks, Lito and Dia. Now here's a joke for you guys. Who does everyone listen to but hardly ever believe? The weather reporter. Good morning and listen up, Midlow. As spring approaches this week, we will see mostly sunny weather with temperatures reaching 65 degrees. We will have roughly two days of showers, but will enjoy beautiful sunny weather otherwise. I'm Ella, and thank you for joining me for this week's forecast. Now to Aaron and Midlow Sports. Thanks, Ella. Boys soccer kicks off the week as they travel to Glen Allen tonight. Girls soccer will be at home tomorrow night against Deep Run, JV at 5.30, and Varsity at 7 o'clock. Boys tennis will be at Powhatan on Tuesday, and then on Thursday we'll host Monaghan. Girls tennis will have their first match at home against Powhatan, and then on Thursday they will travel to Monaghan. Varsity softball will look to defeat Hanover in their first home game of the season, Tuesday night. Thursday they will head to Manchester. JV will be at Hanover on Tuesday and at home against Manchester on Thursday. Boys lacrosse will be at Powhatan on Wednesday. Girls lacrosse will have their season home opener Wednesday against Powhatan, JV at 5.30 and Varsity at 7 o'clock. Thursday, Varsity Baseball will travel to Manchester and JV will be at home. Make sure to get tickets at GoFan.co. For the love of sports, I'm Erin Figgy. For those updates, Ella and Erin, and now today's announcements. Are you interested in learning about Judaism and Hebrew? Want to meet people from a similar background? The Jewish Club will be having its first meeting after school today in room 411, which you might know as the orchestra room. Everyone is welcome to join, no matter what your background or religion is. Hope to see you there. The next Black Student Union meeting will be on Wednesday during Map Zero in the Open Commons. All are welcome. Attention juniors, before we know it, we will be seniors. To help you plan for this week, um, on Wednesday, March 15th at 6 p.m. in the Auditorium, Midlow will be hosting Rising Senior Night for your parents and guardians. Students are not invited, sadly, so be sure to share this with your families. Starting today through Friday, the Black Student Union is selling raffle tickets. With each ticket you purchase, you will have a chance to win a gift basket with tons of goodies inside, including a Chick-fil-A gift card. Video National Team members Tanaj Williams and Maddox Johnson had a chance to chat with a Midlow graduate, Miss Autumn Childress. Recently, Miss Childress graduated from Midlothian High School in 2014 and went on to graduate from Longwood University. She earned a degree in journalism and is now a news anchor for WRIC TV 8. Let's listen in. Good morning, Midlow. I'm Tanaj Williams. I'm here with Autumn Childress and Maddox Johnson. She is from Channel 8 News. Uh, we have a few questions for Autumn. I'm going to start off. So what got you interested in journalism? Yeah, so my mom was an anchor in the city of Richmond when I was born, actually at the same station that I work at now. So all of my childhood, I would watch her go to different events and deliver the news. And I saw the way that she was impacting the community. And I decided from a very young age, that's what I wanted to do. That's cool. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So what are some abilities that you think are good for future journalists? Absolutely. Um, the ability to write and to write well. The very nature of journalism is to be able to communicate your thoughts well. Um, and so having a very good basis of how to write is going to take you very far. And then also understanding how to use technology. Um, as we see right now, we're using a cell phone to record. Uh, but that is where this industry is going. So understanding technology, whether it's audio, lighting, how to work a camera, how to edit, all of those things are going to be crucial uh, if you are aspiring to be a journalist. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. You're taking time out of your schedule. And go Midlow. Go Midlow. <laughs> <Here>, Midlo. <laughs> we are excited to welcome Mr. Brusco to the program today. Mr. Brusco joined Midlothian High School last year and teaches math. Tomorrow is March 14th, or as math people know it, 3.14, or Pi Day. Mr. Brusco, what should we know about Pi as it relates to math in our everyday lives? Um, so Pi is a, what we call an irrational number, meaning uh, the decimal value goes on forever. It never repeats. Uh, um, well, as far as it relates to math, uh, it's the ratio between a circumference and the diameter of a circle. Um, 
And so as far as our everyday lives, um, any career in a STEM field uh, uses pi for anything related to circles, uh, volume of a sphere, cylinder, area of circles, uh, circumference, things like that. Um, I did find it interesting that uh, as far as NASA is concerned, um, they only need 40 decimal places to accurately find the circumference of the known universe to uh, a molecule. Wow. Yeah. That's very interesting, Mr. Briscoe. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. I like apple pie. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Briscoe. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for explaining pie to us. So, Midlow. <laughs> oh! <laughs>